lion, but this looks like a young sub-adult, uh, a sub-adult uh, lion here, which does not look to be in very good shape. Doesn't look to be in very good shape, and you can tell uh, he has uh, a very big wound. If Craig, you go to the back left there, foot, you can see that gushing wood there. I wouldn't know what might have caused that wound. And I think he must be part of the new Kuma pride and most likely was separated. And what cats will do if they... All right, uh, just one second. I want to let my friends know. Uh, stations at uh, Twindom. So I got one uh, lioness, one, one lion at Twindom. Twindom. And uh, yeah, they are... Uh, he, he is not looking very good shape. A bit thin. I don't think it has been eating the last uh, few days. Uh, just one minute. I want to let my friend know who I am. And it looks very thin. You can see the rib cage there. And definitely it was not able to keep pace with the other lions and it was left behind. And in this condition, not much it can do on its own. Eh? And unfortunately, we might lose it, say, to bigger or other predators like hyenas. So it's so close to water because it may chance any prey coming to drink and sneak on it and bring it down because at the moment it has to hunt, you know, for itself without... Uh, the rest of the pride and you know for lion success numbers make a whole difference for them on your own it's very difficult to still make it but not in this very bad shape eh? yeah looks not in very very good shape i do not know what uh, you know, pride or, you know, group should belong to, but doesn't look in very, very good shape. I wouldn't know what pride it is. I think the main, the main pride here is Nekuma, and I do not know what pride this one would belong to. Because the other one I have seen before, and I would right on the hip, but this one has it on the left leg, which is a bit uh, unusual place to get. Christo says, Salala Sabadot, you're right, could be, and yes, maybe it is saying yes, it's just answering you and saying yes, there you are, maybe from the face you can identify it much better. I haven't seen it before myself, I'm seeing it for the first time. And it looks to me like a very young sub-adult male. A young sub-adult male, that's what it looks to me, a bit of mane maybe on the neck. And I wouldn't know how it got that big wound, and that one might have caused it to be separated from the main pride. I think so. still too young to be out of the main pride. You know how males, uh, once they get big, they are kicked out of the pride and go leave or go form a coalition with the other males. Could have been a bit early for it to do that, and if for that reason, I don't see it making, making it. I've seen animals in the bush in general, what would happen if one is sick for one reason or another, they tend to leave it behind. They don't want to, you know, tag along with it. Because if hyenas would target, you know, the animals, this one will definitely be a straight choice. These things will happen once in a while. Could have been a bite maybe from another lion. I'm trying to explore that wound and yes it's pretty sad very very sad and uh, not what I expected to bump by the water hole here I was looking for some more alive and fresh good-looking predators or lions or leopards maybe having a drink or Ellis but then just bumped into this I wasn't sure initially whether it was a, a big leopard laying you know just by the water hole
yeah, looks very sad. I do not see it making it, and that is the rule here in the jungle. Once things go wrong, go wrong, and uh, yeah, that's how things go. Apart from that hoon, it looks everything else has been very good shape. You can see the paws there. If you look carefully, Craig, on the paws, everything else looks perfect to me. Strong, good-looking paws. But I think that wound will have been the genesis of its problems. Let's find out if Ruff could get a much healthier pride of lions.